Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some Pioneer Slivers. Looks like we got a beautiful keepable hand here. We shall keep. And we lost the die roll, so we gotta wait for our turn. And we'll start going unclaimed in the Gale Rider into probably mm, Island? Hmm. Do we want to go to Fusion or do we want to go for predatory stuff? Well, we'll figure it out. Bone Scythe. Ooh, we getting good with those Bone Scythes. That's what you like to see. Gale Rider's in. Let's pass the turn. I want to see what we draw here. And then we can see if we want to go either like... All right, they're playing black, so I think Diffusion might be better. Unless they're holding up a Counterspell. Maybe they're holding up a Counterspell. All right, let's 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 try to get uh, this old girl down. It resolves. That's good. Maybe they got more ops to play in a turn. Ooh, what a, what? Oh, as long as your opponent has any more cards, it gets plus. Ooh, is this mill? Flash flying, as long as. Plus one, plus zero. Whenever one or more rogues you control attack, each opponent mills two cards. Okay, goodbye, Gale Rider. My bad. I didn't know you were just going into your death. Uh, that's uh, quite unfortunate. Maybe he'll. Yeah, he won't skip. There's always the hope of the misclick. <laughs> All right. Next turn, maybe we can draw land, go Mana Swift into a Predatory or something. That'd be reasonable. Flash Flying, Soaring Thought Thief from Zendikar Rising. And there's another one, not even playing it for the Flash. Okay, setting up. Maybe come two threes when we got eight or more cards. And they mill, oh, they stack too. Okay, so we're milling a lot. We lost a Sentinel and a Leeching. No blocks. So they're hitting us for a lot next turn. More than likely. Um, hmm. I think we want to just get Mana Swift down and start being able to go off and get more creatures down quickly. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. This might be tough. Our Gale Rider's gone. We let it just go into the open and die. And they are definitely going to be milling us to eight next turn. So these guys are going to get a buff. We're going to get hit for four and get milled. We can start coming back. I mean, we've got two siphons, so that lifelink will be helpful unless... I'm just wondering what kind of mill strategy they are. Are they aggressive mill or are they like aggro mill? What's the difference? <laughs> are they playing spells or are they playing creatures is what I'm trying to say. Looks like they're playing more creatures. Flash. Everything's flash. M21. Mills two cards. Plus two, plus one, and has death touch. Hmm, that's a problem too. That is a problem as well. So become a 3-2, right? 3-2. Oh, whoa, 5-2? Wait, did I read that wrong? Huh. Thought it was a... Oh, I must have read something wrong. 5-2, then. Did I read the attack on them wrong? I thought their attack was different. Guess not. All right. Taking 5. Sliver Hive. We could go leeching into siphon. I want to drop the predatory when we're ready to like start swinging in. So. Yeah, let's put... I don't know. Let's put this guy down. Oh, are you going to counter? K 
counter. All right, drown the lock. Yep. Good thing we have another one. Definitely going to need it. Oh, that's what's happening. Rogues, you... Oh, I didn't realize this had, like, a lord effect. Rogues, you control, get plus one, plus zero. Okay. So, yeah, these guys are strong. Yeah. Okay. I understand now. And we're taking... Oh, 11? It's rough. Aggro mill. The creature kind. You got a way to deal us two more damage? They might. Looks like they do. Let's see. Let's play for the info here. Ah, uh, 4-4. Four, four. Yikes. And what else do you do now? Oh, it's the Merfolk Rogue. From your... Oh, gosh. Okay, they can steal stuff from our graveyard, but we're just dead here? Are we dead? 2-6. No, we're still taking 11. But now they get to put... One of our cards... And they take a more... Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. That's sweet. That's a sweet deck. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. Alright, Fatal Pushes for those pesky flyers. Um... Do I want Graft Diggers just for the Rogue? Shapers. Drop a Siphon, maybe? First Strike might be helpful. They have a lot of defense on their guys, though. Need to cut one thing. Could a metallic or no, you know what? Cut a hive lord. Or uh, I want to keep him in. Let's cut a metallic. Let's run it like that. I don't know. Uh let me know if you think Graft Digger's cage is worth it for this deck just for the rogue. Maybe they've got more tricks that make it more worth it, but I, I haven't played this deck yet. So let me know what you guys think. Um ugh. Eesh. We have collected companies. Don't know how I feel about this hand. We're a bit slow. Um, I will keep. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure if this is a good keep or not. I mean, we've got things we can do, but I don't know. Let's just go ahead and see. Maybe, um, Mutavolt, playing Mutavolt turn one? Is that a better line? I might have, uh, needed, maybe not needed to play Mutavolt turn one, because we're still going to play, like, Mana Swift next turn, but Mutavolt might have been the more correct line to get that out there. Bone Scythe, okay. Could lead with a Diffusion. So Diffusion, then Bone Scythe. Uh, I'm sorry, Diffusion... Then a mana swift. Yeah, let's let's go to fusion. Pass. Drown caddy, drown caddy comb. Another diffusion. Nothing's in our graveyard right now, so they can't really counter. I mean, it doesn't mean they can't counter, but... 
I'll go ahead and put this down so we can start getting. Oh, die. Oopsies. Hit the wrong one. Um, yeah, I'd like to do this so that way we can try to maybe collect a company or something next turn. Maybe they, I, I feel like they have a drowning lock in hand. Maybe they were, they're either holding up a drowning lock or they're, ooh, a brineborn. Is he a rogue? Oh, he's a pirate. Ooh. Oh, that fits in very well now, doesn't it? To the little crew abilities. It's going to be a tough match. Don't know how I feel about our odds with this one. Some new interesting Zendikar Rising deck tech. Love me the Brineborn Cutthroat. It's nice. I do like the, the, the look of this deck, though. It's sweet. Playing with that uh, that guy, too. That Merfolk Rogue. Sliver Hive, huh? All right. So... I think we pass with Collected Company. Yeah, we're just going to pass with Collected. I'm going to try to put counters on Brineborn here. <clears throat> Slither Wisp. It's not, it's not great. That's not a great hit. I'll take it, but it's not a great hit. We lose a Shaper Sanctuary. Slither Wisp is nasty. A mental nightmare. I'm uh, curious about the new standard mill that's going around right now. It looks pretty interesting. Some good cards in there. If there's any interest in having me go back to some mill, maybe some standard mill, let me know in the comments below. Alright, what's your play here? Uh, good news is, like, they haven't put a lot into our graveyard. I mean, anything. They haven't put anything into our graveyard. We put a collected company there. That's it. That's, uh, they're not as aggro this, this time around. Okay. Fatal push. I can deal with Brineborn. Do I just want to go collected company again? Put down another diffusion. Yeah, let's put down another diffusion. Really get some extra defense. Fatal pushing my other diffusion. Uh, so in response to that, I think I am just going to do this. Gale Rider Sentinel is not bad. We lose our Silver Hive Lord, which... Kind of sucks. They kill our diffusion, and then we can fatal push their slither wisp. Oh, we gotta wait. Goodbye, slither. Fair is fair. I mean, we're flying now, so I'm not especially worried about Brineborn like crazy. It might become a problem, but I think giving them card draw is 
taking away their card draw outlets is more important. Because, I mean, look at their hand, man. They, they're doing stuff, and they're just refilling with the Slither Wisp, so. They're playing something on their turn. Also, not bad. Flying Death Touch Lifelink. Power is equal to 1 plus the number of card types in your opponent's graveyard. Hmm. Flying Death Touch Lifelink. That's annoying. Big hit. Metallic Mimic. Well, we can set up kind of nicely here. Silver. Not attacking in with you, not attacking in with you. Uh, not attacking in with, like, any of these guys, really. Can attack in with Sentinel. So I guess we can just... Yeah, we're not attacking in with any of these, so let's just empty our hand out here. Attack in with our flying Sentinel Sliver with Double Strike to get the job done. Okay, we got a lot coming at them next turn, so they got their work cut out for them. Not saying they can't do it, though. Plenty of cards. Plenty of cards. Ah, uh, they're going to Fatal Push something. Hmm. Okay, taking out my Sentinel, okay. I'd be more concerned about my Double Strike at this point. Or my Gale Rider. So now they're just dead, right? I can just swing out. I mean, oh yeah, they're super dead now. That'll seal the deal. Check this out. Did you know this was a thing? What you think about that? What you think about an alpha strike? I think they conceded. Maybe? Yep, alright. We'll go to game three. Do I like what I have here? I think so. I think so. I think it's reasonable. I made it work, man. That was an interesting hand to make work. That double collector company really helped us. Let's run it back. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> Maybe bringing in a, a striking is a decent play. Extra striking? Against this deck? I don't know. Alright, give me a good hand here. Oh. Well, that's... Ugh. That's a lot of fatal pushes, though. <laughs> ah. Shapers. Uh, we can get shapers, we can get a leech, and we can hold up fatal pushes. Ah, uh, it's rough, though. I want to see what happens. We got two fatal pushes. We can deal with some threats. Okay. We need a way to play it, but it's not terrible. Go ahead. This might have been a mistake. We'll see. Uh, I'll run out of Metallic. They may kill it, but... Then we draw a card. Yep. 
yes, I want to use that card draw. Oh, not another diffusion. We're going to get screwed. We're going to get a little mana screwed, I feel like. Would you guys have kept this hand? I don't know. We could play a uh, majority of our cards. Just not a lot of pressure here. That helps. That helps. But I need to use it wisely. I need to drop it when I can use use it to my advantage. We're just going to play out the leeching. See what happens. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, quench. No, I can't pay for quench. All right. Good to know. Tragic. We're going to be keeping each other at bay for quite a bit. It gives us time to get our mana base set up a little bit better. Another Shapers. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's just play Shapers, and we'll hold up a Fatal Push. Double Shapers is kind of dope. They may counter it, but they don't. Double Shapers is sweet. It's really going to help our card draw. It's going to help keep us in this game for a bit. They're not playing anything. Ooh... Oh, mm, this is tough, man. I'm going to pass. I don't want my mana swift to die until our mana is at least a little bit better. We need just a sliver hive or something, you know? Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Fatal push can't hit him either. That's bad. <sighs> so they can grab metallic, call like... Let's see what they call. It's a good card. Sweet looking. He looks like a classic Merfolk guy, too. Like, just look at that. Look at that artwork. Oh, we're gonna take our turn and get a Muta Vault. Mm, it's not ideal. Do I play the Mana Swift now and hold up a Fatal Push? The sucky part is he can't hit the Fatal Push on this guy. Is a unfortunate part, but maybe by sacrificing a mana swift, we can draw into some better, some better lands or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird spot we're in right now. We kept an awkward hand. They kept a very good controlling hand, and they're just going to counter this with a quench, another quench. They gotta drown on the lock or something, man. This is crazy. Uh, I, I tapped wrong. I should have tapped Mute Vault so I could hold up the Fatal Push. That's a big boy. Opt. Kind of, I kind of have to like chump block this thing. Yeah, they're free to just do a nice swing out here. Opt. I wonder if they're trying to clear my block or not. Taking 10 if they clear the blocker. It's pretty enticing to do. They got ops for days. Holy crap. I don't think we can come back from this. Yep, here comes, like, oh, okay. Uh, 
Okay. That's rough. I think I have to block now. Misplay there a little bit, because I should have kept up a Fatal Push. I could at least have killed something in the turn, like the Thought Thief. But we... Fact is, we just got a little bit mana screwed here, you know? I mean, we keep drawing our green-black sources. It's not helping us one bit. And, uh... Now we just die, basically. Can't do anything else. Except fail push something and chump block with a muta vault. This is looking bleak. to block they're gonna kill it say yes to both of these we'll see what we could have gotten there's our sliver highs we needed like a year ago And then we'll just show them that we had some removal and call it a day. I mean, they won. GGs, GGs. Um, yeah, good game. That's a tough, that's a tough uh, deck. That's a tough deck. A couple misplay. I, I mean, obviously, I think the hand could have worked, but it didn't work. And we were taking a gamble, and, and that was kind of something I knew going into it. But who knows where it could have gone if we had mulliganed that hand initially. But good game to Hex. That was a fun one. That's a cool deck that he has. So leave a like if you enjoyed that video. Make sure to comment below. Let me know how you guys are enjoying the Slivers deck. And make sure to subscribe. I do appreciate the support. And we will see you guys in the next video.